Andrew Tate, a former kickboxer who is now a prominent figure on social media, just ended his social media ban. Over the past six months, Tate has developed a reputation that has brought him not only fame, but also infamy. From the outside, he would appear to have a stable and secure life. However, there have been a few times when he faced risk to his life. He even recently talked openly about the incident in which he nearly lost his finger. And before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Now let's jump to the video. Tate was speaking on his Rumble channel, Tate Speech. He mentioned having a lot of security guys around to secure his safety while speaking from Dubai. As an example, he stated that he would not sit on a chair with his back to a wall. Tate further said that as a result of his previous experiences, he is constantly attentive. This was when he decided to talk about the same. Tate said, no matter how successful you are, always somebody wants you dead. People are always passing you by. There are a hundred individuals strolling past you and one of them decides to stab you. Are you really going to detect it? Probably not. I've recounted this tale previously about how someone tried to end my life. Tate said that he was having a disagreement with someone and was going back and forth over text. However, the person stopped replying to him and didn't even issue a threat to him. Tate also said that when somebody has real intentions of hurting someone, they are not very vocal about the same. Andrew Tate recounted the events of the night. He was injured four days after his previous text communication with the other person had gone unanswered. He said that it was a dark night and it was raining. He described how he was walking towards his car at a parking lot when he was suddenly attacked. He said that the attacker hit him in the face with a hard object and he fell to the ground. The attacker then kicked him in the head and ran away. Tate said that he was in a lot of pain and he was unable to move. He was eventually able to call for help and an ambulance arrived. Tate was treated for his injuries at the hospital and he is now recovering. Tate said that when he heard fast footsteps coming, he turned to see what was causing the noise, and that's when he attempted to stab me. Tate explained that because he knows who attacked him, his finger is still injured from the incident. It came off, I've got my hand, took the knife instead of my neck. After the attack, Tate decided to keep a close eye on his surroundings and not let his guard down. He also said that he doesn't wear headphones because he wants to stay alert. That's all in this video guys, we will meet you in next video, and don't forget to leave a like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another video, and hopefully we gonna do it. To satisfy your curiosity,